Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking, commenting. Like I said, I always try to um, say hey to all my new subscribers. So uh, if you guys have been subscribing, let me know. Comment if you're a new subscriber and I will comment back. So um, I'm uh, fastly approaching 10,000. Well, hopefully I'm at, um, I have a few more to go and I'm gonna give out two of my decks. So if you are a frequent commenter, you can still have time to comment on my next few readings and get your name out there and I'll be able to add you to my raffle for my giveaway, which I'll be giving away two of my decks. So um, I have all these cute little fruits. This is from Michelle at Wing and Bell. She made me, or she made these fruits. Um, so she can make anything really. If you guys are interested in any crystals, I thought these were so cute. So I have them here. All right, so this is a divine masculine check-in. I'm gonna start off with my twin flame journey tarot and see <clears throat> where is the masculine at in this journey right now? What's going on with the masculine? What's he feeling? What's he thinking in relation to the journey, in relation to the feminine here? This card flew out. We have six of cups, memories, and reunion, okay? So literally this flew <laughs> to the side of me. He is um, very nostalgic right now. He's thinking about the past a lot. He may be um, replaying things that have happened with the feminine. He may want a reunion. Let's get another card here. Ten of Wands. But I feel this is like a heavy burden, this connection. The thought of the things that have happened, replaying things. So it could have been some positive things that happened throughout the connection, but also some really heavy things that weren't um, that great that happened throughout the connection here, okay? So it's on his mind. He feels like it's burdening him thinking about this connection, okay? I've got three of wands awaiting results. He may just still be waiting for some resolution. He may just be in this period where he doesn't want to take action. He just wants to keep, kind of see how things play out, um, what can make it better. He doesn't know, so he's waiting for other things outside of the connection to just make things better. He doesn't have the answers, I feel like, right now. We have Divine Masculine Emperor. So he's starting... I don't know if he's necessarily aware that he is the Divine Masculine, but he's coming into this, like awakening where he's starting to maybe take more responsibility or see that this is like an extremely um, significant journey that he's been on and he's coming into his own not necessarily an awareness of who he is but just an awareness of the significance of this journey and things about himself that he's had to maybe that he was maybe ignoring that now he's starting to maybe look at more okay wow all my cards just went tumbling. All right, so I wanna get from my Twin Flame current vibes and see some other energies going on within this connection within the masculine, okay? So this could either be him communicating to the feminine or just um, where the energies are at. All these are on available for purchase. I will put the link below. Let's see. Stuck in the past twice already in the first part of the reading, okay? I can't get over all the things that have happened with us. So he might almost feel like he knows that the feminine wants him to like move forward with something. He wants her to take action. He wants, re he knows she wants resolution, but there's something about the past that he can't get over. We have that twice already blooming even beautiful things can bloom out of the darkness i feel this could be like a thing that he's trying to believe that like okay maybe it has been really heavy and has been really dark but can beautiful things bloom out of the darkness like i don't think that he necessarily believes that or understands that or knows that because to him if it wasn't light and breezy and easy then it's not worth fighting for but he doesn't realize those shadows of light and dark that are on this journey, that's part of life, part of facing the fact that it's not always light and easy and breezy. And so he might have had a life before where it was like that and he expects things to be like that and he expects this dynamic to be like that, but it's like not all that, you know, is worth it is just easy. And I feel like he is maybe realizing that as the emperor, as a divine masculine, that this dynamic requires him to step up in a way that he hasn't before. 
and it might not look like things from his past, okay? Let's get some from the Twin Flame Shades of Light and Dark with that being said, loving and closeness. So I do feel like he still feels like an, a, an affection for this feminine. He still wishes to be close to her. Some of you guys might be having dreams of this kind of energy. I actually had that last night. Not with my Divine Masculine, but it could represent him. But just, I feel both people do want intimacy. It's almost like you guys want to break through all of these barriers, all of these fights, all of these dramas and chaos. Because ultimately what you want, darling, if you want me to be closer to you, get closer to me. But what it really boils down to is self-love. We can't extend that love to anyone if we don't have it within ourselves and I feel like this is a journey both people about self-love and if the masculine you know hasn't gotten to that point he's not going to be able to share it with the feminine in that way he is learning that though playfulness these are all like joyful happy high vibrational things that I feel like yes should be cultivated in order for this connection to bloom and blossom and grow but um divine timing and angelic assistance there is still an energy i feel where both parties want to hold on to how they think things should be when a lot of this journey is about surrendering and trusting and having a higher source dictate when things are right so waiting might not be such a bad thing okay i'm gonna pull from and uh, angel uh mystic moons connections for the modern world and see what are some more energies going on within this connection. I'm sorry, this last deck was from um, Karen at Soul Magic 99, okay? The Twin Flame Shades of Light and Dark. I'll put her, all their information below, okay? Experience. Yes, this is what I'm saying. So all of these experiences, all of these things that have happened are for a reason, and you have to go through these experiences. You can't just fast forward to the union, to this divine timing when everything works out. There's things that both parties, I feel, need to experience along this journey, okay? Escape artist. This is something I actually recently was thinking a lot about my masculine being is that I think a lot of these masculines really want things to just be happy and bright and amazing and escape the realities, escape themselves. But when you just keep trying to run, you're running from yourself. So you're running from true awakening within yourself and then true bliss and true happiness if you're not fully integrated, okay? Speak up. So the masculine might feel like he needs to say something, he needs to speak up, but like I said, there's that heavy burden and he doesn't necessarily know what um, what to say or how to um, broach this conversation, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to go into Flames of Truth from Angelic Revelation 144 and see what does the masculine want to say to the feminine here if he could speak up. I want to make love to you in every way possible to show you just how much I love and desire you. Well, we did have um, intimacy and closeness. So he does want to share that affection. He does want to uh, make love to the feminine. He does have this desire, but that's not the only thing that needs to happen, okay? It's not just about the physical intimacy. It's about the emotional intimacy as well. So if he keeps focusing on the physical, that's like a form of escape, okay? You literally made me speechless with your beauty. I can barely speak because I'm just spellbound and captivated by you. Okay, I think there is something about, it's not just the feminine's external beauty, but there's something about the light within her that shines that is very, like, resonates with the masculine because it's almost like they match each other's light. And so he might almost feel so overtaken by it that he can't think straight, that he can't process things that he can't speak i love you so much please try to be patient with me and be open to me coming towards you when we have both healed that's what i'm saying so there's still some healing that needs to be done there's still energy that needs to be worked through okay i'm gonna get from the oracle of seven energies and see what other energies are surrounding this connection right now let it go okay this is anything okay this could be any part of the dynamic 
anything that you want to fight with, resist, things that you've been holding on to that have been causing destruction within yourself, that have been preventing you from true self-love, preventing this union, let it go. Let go of the resistance and the need to keep things your way. There are times in life when you must forgive lest you become a hostage to your anger, frustration, disappointments, and resentments. This is not about condoning bad behavior or minimizing a hurt done to you. Forgiveness is simply a commitment to stop telling an old story so you don't carry its burden anymore. It's time to let go of the old story with your masculine, however it happened, however much you want them to see. It's just there's something that you're holding on to that you guys need to let go of, okay? Willing release. That's another let go, all right? So it could be beautiful, this release, if you just let it go. It's something needs to be released, okay? I want to pull a couple from Soul Activation Oracle from Rising Sun Oracle. See what other energies here with this connection, with the masculine specifically. There will be rewards if you can re let go. I feel like this release will be really more rewarding. Laugh, okay? I've been doing laughter yoga um, a lot lately. Literally just get on the phone with someone that you feel you can do this with and laugh for two minutes. It changes your brain chemistry. It releases stress and cortisol and increases dose, um, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, um, all the positive vibes okay it also opens your heart to more joy and more laughter and more compassion power root chakra get your power back do things to strengthen yourself okay the masculine is needing to do this as well and realize this journey of the self we had self-love love yourself focus on yourself work on yourself that is the key to union here okay let's get a couple of charms for some here Lucky charms, okay? I see this as like, I don't know, in the US, St. Patrick's Day, this could be something with Ireland, but um, the March energy, you could be dealing with a divine masculine that has like a March birthday or you have a March birthday or March to the beat of your own drum with that self-love. But this is also like a flower, like spring. This could be like a big turnaround when we hit spring, okay? And then this to me is like another energy of surrendering, letting go, trusting God, trusting divine timing. And we're constantly getting the horse, all right? So um, that can mean different things to you guys. I just want to get some advice from my pearls of wisdom. What are some advice for you guys that are questioning about the divine masculine? Intuition. If you have intuition of, about someone, it's valid. Never question it. Trust your gut. Some of you guys can be really questioning, like, is this my divine masculine? Is this what I really think it is? Um, this is saying, trust that. You know, learn to rely on your senses. Not in your senses, but on your intuition, okay? And I'm going to pull one angel number from uh, Twin Flame Angel Numbers from Mystic Moon and get an angel number that's significant to you on your journey that you could... Uh, pay attention to or maybe you've already been seeing and it will be confirmation okay 1221 learn to provide your own happiness rather than relying on your twin flame to fulfill it we had laughter okay you're both on this journey doing this there is a need to raise the vibration even even out of the darkness so let go of all that heaviness because when you get into that high vibration your twin will see it and they'll feel more comfortable more safe to come forward and they'll feel like you guys can have a higher vibration the fighting and the heaviness is not going to bring your twin flame any closer to you okay darling if you want me to be closer to you and you could be seeing this number as well all right, so guys, that is your reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.